all right uh, hello everyone i hope you're doing well and you are already struggling with this game with getting like to get a decent fps um but i am struggling with playing this game anyway so today we are going to discuss about that what are the up to my setting for the mid-range gpus um, now i will call these a low and or upper low and kind of gpus like 1660 super 1650 uh, no the vram vram is the limit for these gpus anyway so uh, as you can see i'm also recording the game on my gpu and we are getting about an average 100 plus fps with my gpu uh, this is a 1660 super 16 gigabyte of the gpu and we are in the multiplayer and definitely what the war zone 4 is not out yet and uh, uh, without recording i do get 115 plus fps all the time so we will be discussing everything here what setting you should be running with and what other tweaks you can do with the your system like with the graphic setting of this be uh, black ops 6 to get the maximum fps out of this game and also you can see my game do look great uh, it just look very fine and sharp and also uh, yeah we have some kind of releasing edges over here but that's fine all right so let's uh, give it a little bit to run i was expecting some some kind of team death match but okay uh, so you can you can have an idea that how does it perform when we will be dying we will be leaving that game sorry team it's okay that's fine that's fine it happens all the time with me okay let's leave the ga a game and let me show you the what are the graphics settings the best settings we do uh, need to use for the best experience and also for the gamers do have a 120 hz 1080p or 144 hz 1080p they are going to benefit this uh, uh, these settings very well because i do believe uh, with the uh, gtx 1660 super you can run this game 120 hertz lock very well okay let me show this uh, graphic settings over here we will be starting from the display tab if you have a multiple monitors you have one, uh, more than one monitor like two monitor three monitors like me i have a two monitors at this time one on this side uh, where um, i do open my obs and everything and the, uh, on this side we have a gaming uh, i have a gaming monitor of course they both are 60 hertz but two, uh, i do have a two monitors in this case if you have more than one monitor just uh, use the full screen borderless or if you have one monitor like a laptop or anything else just use the full screen exclusive just use the full screen exclusive because that is the best mode if you have one screen okay and the other, the other thing if you have a multiple monitors you can change the uh, monitor from here like i have a two this monitor from the dell and other is acer one and i can switch any of the monitor from here and of course the display adapter that is going to be uh main your main gpu we have a G nvidia gtx 1660 super so i have selected that in case if you have an integrated gpu for example if you are running with the ryzen 5 5600g and uh, with the 1660 super or something then you will be see uh, you will see a uh, different option uh, over here my friend was just calling to play this game okay anyway so uh, for example if you are running with the ryzen 5 5600g and gtx 1660 super you will be seeing a uh, two display adopter over here but select one hour like we have we want to run the G, uh, this game on for example gtx 1660 super or any of the gpu that you have and for the aspect ratio i will highly recommend do not go for the automatic this game is uh, for now it's very bugged so that definitely it will get optimized with the time so i will highly recommend check your monitors aspect ratio and for example for my uh, like regular 1920 by 1080p monitor uh, that is uh, the uh, aspect ratio is 16 by 9 so just select your uh, native monitors aspect ratio do not trust on the automatic one it get it gets buggy for the uh, restart shader that is very important we will be talking that uh, about that later for the display gamma just select 2.2 srgb if you have a regular monitor if you have a very expensive kind of tv uh, or you have a, a very expensive monitor oled modern monitor or something go with the 2.4 option and the gamma and the brightness i will highly recommend stick with the 50 percent option 55 don't go uh, higher than the 55 and uh, for the nvidia low uh, reflex low latency this is very important uh, option as well for example in my case ryzen 5 5600 
that is paired with the GTX 1660 Super in in my case Ryzen 5 5600 is a little bit more powerful than my GPU so in in case where you have a more powerful CPU than your GPU the most the best case uh, that is so just put your Nvidia reflex low latency to the on if you have a weaker CPU for example if you have a Ryzen 5 2600 R a little bit more weaker CPU than uh, paired with the GTX 1660 Super or any uh, in case GPU you have then uh, click on this and set it to on plus boot if you don't know what is your CPU power and what is your GPU power just uh, uh, stick with the default option that that games gives you on the first boot so it will be on or either it will be on plus boost uh, for you and eco mode uh, for the eco mode i will highly uh, suggest set it to custom for vsync gameplay turn it off if you like to play the game without the vsync or you can use the vsync if you have a higher refresh monitor or in my case i have a 60 hertz monitor i do prefer some time to play with the vsync on and vsync menu i will highly recommend if you have a 60 hertz monitor turn this on so in your main in the menu like we have it should be capped to 60 so your gpu is not running or not getting overloaded while you are in the menu menu okay so and the custom frame rate limit set uh, so for the frame rate li limit it will be unlimited or custom just i will prefer to set it on the custom and i put the gameplay custom frame rate to max and menu custom rate to 60 or max and also out of focus is 60 that is absolutely fine for the reduced menu render resolution set it to native and pause game rendering turn it off reduce quality when inactive turn it off don't know why this is option over there okay focus most uh, turn it all the way to zero let's go to the quality tab definitely we are going to set it to the custom setting uh, dynamic resolution we will be also talking about that but for now turn it off upscaling uh, I will say there are two best upscaling for that GPU that does not support DLSS. The GPU that supports DLSS, uh, you can use the DLSS, but I will also recommend uh, to avoid the DLSS because sometimes it gets over sharpened in a lot of cases. But for the AMD uh, like FSR uh, setting, you can use the AMD FSR to quality setting and uh, if you like to use the amd fsr use the amd amd fsr 3 and set it to quality that is fine and if for my case with the setting that i am going to show you i can i do get more about 90 uh, 90 fps in average with the fsr 3 set to the quality setting with these settings that i am going to show you vram target scaling i will highly recommend set it to 75 percent more than 75% give you this stutter, less than 75% like also gives you the stutter. I believe this is the sweet spot for GTX 1660 Super. For the GPUs, for example, GTX 1650 that has a 4 gig of the VRAM, I will highly recommend to push that up to 85%. For the uh, 8 gig of VRAM, that GPU have 8 gigabyte of the VRAM, I will say, I will suggest to set it to 70%, and the other who have a 10 and a higher, set it to 65 or 60 percent and for the variable reshading i like to turn it off the texture resolution don't go very low don't uh, go low uh, i prefer to play it on our uh, normal textures uh, uh, if you have a 4 gigabyte of vram just stick with the low don't go very low it will look like kind of potato okay like minecraft maybe minecraft is better than this one now anyway texture filtering set it to high and depth of field turn it off and the detail quality set it to low for the particle resolution very low don't know why developers are not providing us any detail about this turning this particle resolution to off anyway we don't need the particles in our multiplayer game bullet impact i prefer to turn it on a persistent effect turn it off shader to low we don't uh, we don't want any kind of screen space reflection and kind of shiny things turn it low the maximum that we can go that is low on demand texture streaming minimal low texture streaming quality set it to normal unless you are running this game on a calculator then you can go with the low uh -huh. Uh, I will highly suggest local texture streaming set to normal shadow quality very important both for the performance perspective and the both for the presentation perspective but this is an e-sport e title like this is a competitive title so shadow quality 
very low we cannot turn it off if there is an option there wasn't an option i would prefer to go with off okay anyway shadow quality very low screen space shadows off occlusion and screen space lighting turn it off we don't need that S screen space reflections off static reflections off why we don't have this off option uh, for this static reflection we have only low option for this so turn it low test solution of volumetric quality low de de deferred physics of even with the off it does show some kind of physics as well uh, weather grid volume of water quality of let's go to the view section i do prefer this playing this game at 120 fov the game i was playing before was on the 120 and ads affected weapon field of view wide and third party and these other other settings if you like to go uh, like use my setting the important setting that is inverted flashbang like the regular flashbang effect is whenever somebody stuns you or somebody flash you the white skins appear and that also hard uh, like very uh, harmful for your eyes in real so that's why i will highly recommend this is very useful option turn it on so whenever this anybody will flash you or anybody will stun you your screen will go black instead of going white so that is very uh, important option over here and the other thing that I, I want to discuss of course i will be showing the bank my benchmarks as well so other option that is the for example if you have a 144 or 120 hertz high refresh rate monitor in that case i will highly 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 recommend uh, like uh, you should enable the in the quality tab this dynamic resolution like what it will do open uh, like enable this term dynamic resolution and set to 120 this is the only case if you have a 144 hertz or 120 hertz monitor set the dynamic uh, frame rate to 120 and uh, and apply this and come back to the display tab over here in the custom frame rate show more and set the gameplay custom frame rate to 120 in this way you will be getting a log 120 fps all the time a console like experience and you will be getting benefit of high refresh rate monitor that you are using any that can be it can be 90 fps uh, 90 hertz monitor if that is a 90 hertz monitor i will highly suggest to lock it to 90 hertz monitor uh, 90 hertz refresh rate if you have a 120 hertz or 140 hertz monitor 1080p mo uh, monitor I will highly suggest to lock it to 120 you will be getting a lot more better experience but now i will be uh, not limiting it to uh, 120 and i'm not setting it to the dynamic res from here why i'm so, uh, showing you that the dynamic res uh, because the currently setting that we have it will get to 117 to 118 19 fps all the time without kind of uh, like recording that i am now currently recording this game and i do get 108 to 110 fps but when i'm not recording this game i do get 118 115 116 or about 120 fps all the time but when i do enable this dynamic res it does not affect any kind of the um, presentation game presentation more like much more it does not affect the quality of the game but that also like contributes to more stable fps but and one more thing that we missed that is uh, about the upscaling for this setting that i'm using i do prefer using the upscaling nvidia image upscaling that nis that is awesome in this game the implementation is done with this game is absolutely phenomenal and i do prefer for the gpus like they do not support nvidia gpus of course that do not support dlss that do, uh, like and they do not want of course i will say avoid the amd fsr3 my recommendation will be for the nvidia gpus that does not support higher upscalings use the nvidia image upscaling set it to the quality and uh, uh, sorry uh, from here set it to the image image um, upscaling from here set the uh, upscaling to nvidia image upscaling and then set NVG, uh, nvidia image scaling preset to quality image scaling sharpness to 50 percent that is absolutely fine for this gpu and this class of gpus even with the gtx 1650 16 16 60 uh 
6 gigs that we have 1660 ti rtx 2060 even rtx 2060 with you can use the dlss anyway the last step that is very important step that we need to do before playing the game and that is go to display tab scroll down and click on this restart shader preloading or if they're not getting click show more and over click over uh, over here as i have done this already i'm not doing this just click over here so it will be forcing to clear the shader pre-caching that you have and then quit the game and open the game again and it will show you the shader pre-compilation uh, pre option over here wait for it it will use your cpu it, it can take up to 5 minutes maybe 10 minutes depends upon your CPU power and then once that is done sh uh, CPU uh, like shader pre-compilation or shader pre-compiling uh, pre or pre-caching that option will be so once that is done you are clear and you you can play this game and how it will be and here is uh, and here is the result that i have done with the uh, 120 fps uh, lock limit and i was getting about 118 fps average of course why that was 118 because sometimes it dips in when you have in the fire it dips sometime as the fps were locked 120 we were getting a lot more smoother experience and with this setting i why i say this is the best setting for uh, budget gamers for us for example their low fifth and low fourth and 1% lows and 99% of lows that we do have that uh, contributes to the smoothness of the game that was really phenomenal these are these are phenomenal results and let's go by with this without limit this was the with the limit and let's go and start the benchmark from here and let me check that uh, dynamic res is off and the custom frame rate is also turned uh, like to up to 133 over 300 or whatever that is do keep in mind this run is with the video recording so the video is also getting recorded with on the same gpu in obs without recording we do get a lot more fps and this experience is much more smoother with these fps settings we do do get a FPS hit when we we are in the fire or when we see explosion or something. Um, other than that, uh, the settings performs very well on this GPU. Also, the games looks kind of very fine. This uh, uh, map is a lot more with the smoke effect, so it not blurry. It's it's performing very well. all right with the recording and in the benchmark option we just got 100 fps in uh, like average we got about a hundred uh, like uh, other results that if you like to see with you can see but without recording we good uh, like we do get a lot more fps with this You can use these settings you can uh, you can test these settings and how does it perform for you just to let me know in the comments down below and if you have other question or other, su other suggestion we will be discussing that in another video till that bye